Urban Family Farms is a local urban farm. It's in the middle of a neighborhood, so a lot of people can just come on walk down during Art Hop, which is the thing that we have here in Fresno. It's the first Thursday of the month, and all the different galleries and studios are open, and so we're part of that event. They're fortunate to have this gallery space available. It's a wonderful opportunity for art and farming and food and nature to kind of come together. This space eventually will probably have more use. Uh, there's going to be events here, tastings, that sort of thing. So it's a natural, it's natural when you come into a building and you want to see some artwork. So it kind of goes hand in hand. My environment inspires me to create just the things around me. I've been thinking about recently like my food journey and my journey that I've been on through life, my past, my present, and my future. Even the drives to the coast from the valley, I really love those drives. I love scuba diving so I can't always be underwater and when I'm not, I want to try to recreate those moments or celebrate those things while I'm stuck here above land. Trying to have a light heart with stuff and also working with kids. I see how children see the world and even how they create things and they don't stress out about it. They don't mull over whether something is perfect or not and just gets done. Just comes right out of them. Approaching things with the heart of a child I think is what I've been trying to do more of instead of being so stressed out, especially with our political climate today, there's a lot to be angry and upset about and sad about too. Lately, I've been trying to remind myself not to take things so seriously and that helps me create. I switch it up. I like to work with different materials. So if I have one project going, I'll usually have something else that is in the work so that I can take a break from something if I've been staring at it too long and I need fresh eyes. Um, and if that doesn't do it, organizing my space does a lot for clearing your mind and giving you a fresh perspective on something or even going out in nature. That really helps me kind of get centered again. Before when I was feeling blocked about some things, I started to watercolor because that wasn't something that I was comfortable with and it was outside of my comfort zone. And you can't really control a lot of things in watercolor, so I was just basically scribbling with watercolors on paper and it was very therapeutic, but that helped me get over some blocks and now I even use watercolors in my some of my work now. But it started off as just a relaxation technique, doing something that I could not be precise about that was more organic. It's become more personal, I guess. And before, when I used to create, I would see something that I liked and try to recreate that myself and be inspired by someone else's work. And now I think about what I really like and what is at the core of my own self. When I started out, yeah, I did a lot of looking at how other people were using materials and using that as a foundation to jump off of, but now I feel like I can just look for techniques and create my own thing all together now, and that has been a nice journey. Succulents in the sea are what inspire me with my clay things. I remember going on a scuba diving trip, and <laughs> it was mostly guys on the trip, and it was a lobster hunting trip, and instead of coming back up with lobsters, I come back up with like just bundles and bundles of sea urchin shells from the seafloor, and the guys would make fun of me because, you know, it was a lobster hunting trip, and I was coming back without lobsters, and they didn't really see the value in all of the shells, but the shells were awesome, and I've used them in projects, and I like to have them at home because they remind me of the beauty that is underwater. Now I've started trying to translate that into my clay pieces and even into some of my paintings. So I feel like I still get to have those moments with me even when I'm not there. Everyone has a creative part of themselves and everybody has a different way of expressing it. For some people it's through hair, through makeup, and other people it's paint, or it could even be through living organic things like plants. 
So my advice would be just to find your passion and focus on that. And don't be afraid of, of making ugly things because you're going to make a lot of ugly things that you don't like before you create things that you do like. Don't worry about perfection. I think that's the, one of the biggest roadblocks that many of us have. And also making time to create. That was one of the biggest hurdles for me because it always felt like I had so many responsibilities that how could I possibly make time to just sit down and create. It felt really selfish for a long time. And then I finally realized that that time is necessary for your own well-being and we need it. We need time to create whatever it is just for our own soul.